On May 30, 2014, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association USA conducted its first ever Day on the Hill event in Washington, D.C. This historic event brought together over 250 Muslim young men and boys from across the country to introduce the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association to members of the U.S. Congress. Over 50 individual meetings were arranged between congressional offices and delegates of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association. During these meetings, the group's community service efforts were highlighted. A press conference was held with Congresswoman Jackie Speer, co-chair of the newly formed Ahmadiyya Muslim Caucus, and Congressman Mike Honda. And the kind of activities you're involved in really does reflect well on your teachings. It look, reflects well on the teachings of His Holiness, and I think that uh, it reflects well on your parents. Bilal Rana, president of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association, spoke during the press conference about the group's mission for coming to Capitol Hill. Today is a historic day for the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association. We came to Capitol Hill not to ask, but to give. We want to help feed the hungry in America. And we asked Congress to help us identify organizations in the districts of those congressmen that we can work with, who can help us achieve our goal of feeding one million hungry Americans. During their meetings with congressional representatives, members of AMYA explained the Muslim Youth Against Hunger campaign. This campaign has raised over $150,000 over the past few years and has helped feed hundreds of thousands of people. Feeding those struggling with hunger has become a point of focus for AMYA, which touched a chord with Congresswoman Jackie Speer. I am very pleased to see that you are dedicating yourselves to the issue of hunger, uh, particularly in a country as rich as ours, to have so many millions of people Living in hunger is a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. For a week, for five days, for three days, I would encourage you to take up the food stamp challenge. And it's quite simple. All you do is live on $4.50 a day. That's all. Following the press conference, the young men from AMYA gathered outside in the area known as the National Mall to perform the Islamic Friday prayer service. This historic park sits between the Capitol Building and the Washington Monument and is known in history as the venue of the March on Washington that featured Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. In his Friday sermon delivered at the National Mall, the vice president of the youth organization, Basir Rodney, stated that we have come as constituents of America's diverse and varied congressional districts to offer the voice of the Muslim youth. In particular, we raise our voice against the intractable food insecurity that is gripping our America. He explained that the promised Messiah salam, guided his followers to make our conduct, manners, and character such that these qualities spread like epidemic diseases. He taught that our character should have a glow and a brightness that produces an attraction, so much so that others are attracted and drawn to us. After the Friday prayers, the funeral prayer was offered in absentia for Dr. Mehdi Ali Kamar Shaheed of Ohio, who was recently martyred in Pakistan while on a humanitarian visit. The day ended with the inaugural Walk for Humanity 2014, which was held in conjunction with the food drive. The Muslim youth passed out flyers around the walk, explaining their efforts as they filled bags with non-perishable food items which were donated to the Capital Area Food Bank. This historic event marked the first time the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association USA has made a concerted national effort to engage their political leaders and highlight their community efforts, and it proved to be a wonderful success. Sonia Ahmed, MTA News, USA.